Welcome to this video um, where we're going to take you through some hamstring strength exercises for runners that you can do at home. Uh, so hamstrings are important for that stability when you're running um, and means that you can um, efficiently work other muscles um, and so it is a, an important aspect of uh, your exercises that I think you should be doing. My name's Claire, I'm a physiotherapist from PhysioFit Health. Uh, if you haven't um, yet done any hamstring strength exercises or not overly familiar with them, then just check out our video we've got for beginners. Um, that will take you through some of the more basic exercises um, and then you can check out these ones when you're a little bit more familiar. This is a great exercise to do um, for your hamstrings. It is quite challenging to do, um, and you might need somebody to help with you um, holding your feet, or if you've got something, just to hook your feet underneath. Um, and even with your knees, um, you can have a rolled up towel or something on the knees if you need to, just to make them a little bit more comfortable. Um, so I'll just fix here. Um, so feet are fixed. Um, you're on your knees and you're up nice and tall. Now you're thinking about hinging at the hips, so you keep, um, sorry, hinging at the knee and you keep the hips nice and still. Um, and then all you're gonna do is lean the body forwards as far as you feel you can do, should feel the back of the legs working and then return yourself back to your upright position. So I would get you breathing out as you lean the body forwards and then you're breathing in as you return back. I'd get you doing um, your uh, eight, six to eight or so repetitions. So try it out. It is a challenge, but it is quite a good one to do for the hamstrings. This exercise you can do in standing. Um, I'm gonna get you bending your knees um, and you're gonna take all of your weight onto that right, um, right leg. So knee bent, um, all of that weight's on that right leg. Um, and you're gonna move that left leg just out to the side, touching the, the toes to the floor. So you're kind of in um, your start position. Now think about your hips, um, headlights on your hips are facing forwards. Uh, the movement that you're wanting to do is rotate the body and the hips around to the side and then return back to your start position. So knee on that right side stays facing forwards, um, but the hips, you're gonna, hips and body are gonna rotate. Um, and I think it's easier to think about kind of foot tapping uh, behind the body um, and then returning forwards. So you, I'd get you doing eight to 10 repetitions and then you're gonna obviously do the other side. Um, it is a bit of a combo, this one. Um, yes, it's gonna get your hamstrings because you're in standing, uh, but it's also gonna get some of that stability around the hips and the pelvis. So combination one, but a very good one to do. Um, this exercise uh, you're gonna do in standing, it's the combination one of hamstrings and it's gonna work um, these muscles at the side of the legs but um, I'd get you using a band. Um, so we've got a gray band, which is fairly strong. It's gonna give us stability, um, but it's also gonna work the muscles in a slightly different way. Um, so you're gonna loop the band under your right foot. Um, put it on tension and see if you can just hold the band around the chest area. So elbows are kind of out to the side. Um, and then you're setting up with your uh, knee bent. So that right knee bent, all of that weight is on that right leg um, and the left leg is out to the side. Um, and then your movement um, is you're gonna um, sweep that leg out to the side. The hips are gonna come round and um, you can even get the body twisting a little bit and then returning back to your start position. The important thing is to just double check that knee on that right, the right side stays facing forwards, um, but the, the body and the hips can kind of twist and rotate. So try it out. You're gonna do eight to 10 repetitions and then you're gonna repeat on the other side. Those are your hamstring strength exercises that you can check out. They're really good for runners. Uh, now, don't forget uh, that flexibility is really important. Um, those, that's your kind of foundation and building blocks. And then what you're doing with these exercises is building on those foundations. So going into more your strength and in endurance, which will help with your running. Um, if you really want to focus more on that flexibility, we have an eight week deep squat challenge. Uh, you can sign up for in the details below. 
Uh, it takes you um, eight weeks. Each week you just run through different exercises for the different joints of the leg and you come out with a lovely workout. It will help that deep squat and ultimately lay the foundations of flexibility which can then help you with your running. So um, sign up. Thank you.